Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates and to those who don't. Also, wonderful holidays or safe holidays and may kindness be with you all the times, man. Love and be, baby. Now on to the main event of Christmas, of course, which obviously was the Portland Trailblazers playing against the Golden State Warriors, who were on the second night of a back-to-back, -back, and early on, the Blazers jumped on that fact, because they jumped out to an early 11-point lead, the Warriors were turning the ball over like, well, the Warriors usually do, and they have these just turnover spurts when they just seem to love turning the ball over and then make then they then they overdo it and we had a little bit rougher trace jackson davis stint in the first quarter and first half but he was still pretty solid nonetheless then in the second quarter man jonathan bleep and kuminga he had a dominating all-around performance this was like you felt his presence everywhere on the court even when he was not scoring and this is exactly what you love from him man he was sensational i'm pretty sure Kerr did not take him off the floor for the whole second quarter where he was just absolutely sensational defensively he was incredible active on the board he had six rebounds in the first half he was playmaking really well he's been making such a good reads off of his drives and off of you know handling the ball he set the tone early in the second quarter where he had an easy read on Scoot Henderson with Scoot Henderson on him just easy dribbling down the left and it seems that the handle is getting tighter and one on Scoot and the game is just slowing down for Jonathan Kuminga man he's so much more fun to watch now he's he looks like he's having so much fun out there on the basketball court right now and you know he's being rewarded for good play and never predetermining predetermining they're determining huh that's a tough tricky word for a czech guy like me but you can see that he's no longer you know he's one step ahead in a way right he never predetermines his move he's reading the defense is better he makes the right plays his passing has been crisp and he of course is still a bully ball uh, bully ball machine he was good on free throws today which was great to see he was i'm pretty sure like five of five on free throws which hey that's exactly that's sensational if he's 75 percent on free throws and is getting there ooh wee ooh wee man and you also had brandon pojemski give you once again incredible minutes he was once again all over the floor you, you cannot miss him on the floor man he is really good defensively for his size especially he knows how to draw those goddamn charges and he also has that just such a good funky finishing bag he has good dribbles moves he is a good shooter and he is so awesome to watch man we just have such good energy from the young guys right now and it's just wonderful to see we also finally had a good kevon looney game who was just menacing on the rebounds today he had a really great game today loon loon dog bounced back and it's great to see him i don't know for some reason today he looked the most fit all year probably which is weird because it was a second night of a back-to-back -back and yesterday he looked just he looked like he couldn't move so hey shout out to loon steve Kerr pointed out how good of a leader he's been off the floor you know despite him not playing that well and you know if he continues to build up on this it's another great sign because we will now have two playable big men in kevon Looney and trace jackson davis you know against Jokic, you would imagine kevon Looney will be more needed than trace jackson davis nonetheless uh in the third quarter splash bros gave us a good fun show on christmas clay caught fire he was making everything and you know finally took a heat check that i was like that's a good fucking heat check you know not i made one tough three-pointer so i'm gonna heat check he made a couple of good shots like he saw like three or four good tough shots go in and then he may you know took a heat check which went in great to see clay just have that spring in his legs and he's been uh, since that benching in phoenix he's been moving like a different man and i don't know what the hell that is about but hey thank god for that you know he's already was on a better trajectory before the suns game but since that suns game he's been playing like a different player on both sides of the floor and he just he just has so much more energy in his legs i don't know where the energy is coming from i just don't know but i'm thankful it is and Kuminga and Clay are continuing to building, continue to build up on that repertoire they have together. And 
Then you, of course, have Steph finishing around the rim like a goddamn wizard today. He was sensational finishing around the rim. Magical, really. And he had 27 points. I barely even noticed. And he also got called for like two flop. flop. Uh, we had two flop technicals, which I have literally not seen called before. So that was hilarious. That was just so random and hilarious. Um, and you had Chris Paul, Moody and Trace Jackson Davis off the bench in the third quarter, joined in on the party. Trace second stint was sensational. He was really impressive and Chris Paul was finding him on the rolls and he got some really easy and nice looking dunks, man. Brandon Pojemski once again had a sensational, you know, all around game. Uh, I already talked about how good he was in the second quarter. He was sensational the whole game. Um, he was creating for others, had seven assists, once again a menace on the boards for his side, size, 10 rebounds, 15 points, he really flashed the finishing today, and of course he hit um, pretty much the dagger three-pointer, in my estimate, in the, at the start of the fourth quarter. And, you know, flirting with the triple-double, man, I'm expecting we'll see it, we'll see it this year, Pojemski is just sensational. And now that you have the mixture of Trace, Pojemski, Kuminga, Moody gave you great minutes today, even though Moody is one of the kind of weird men out there, but not weird men in terms of when he's out there, but you know, he, he his minutes are kind of uh, weird in a way. But he, you know, whenever he's on the floor, he does a lot of good stuff anyway, so that's just what you want to see. And the lineup of Trace with Saric in the front court, which seems like a really good fit with Chris Paul, Pojemski and Clay, just kind of ended the game early in the fourth quarter. The, Gri the Grizzlies, the Blazers did fight back, so Steph had to come back in for a few. But him and Kuminga made some great plays. We had classic Warriors tic-tac-toe with Looney, throwing it up to Kuminga for the alley-oop. And then we saw the two-way guys on a back-to-back -back night. And that's on back-to-back -back nights. Five game win streak, great vibes all around, rookies balling out, Kuminga putting together the best stretch of his goddamn career, and just playing all around good basketball. Clay finding his stroke and just being so much more energetic since the Suns benching, like I said, and he's been shooting lights out. CP3, even though his shot has not been falling, he's been orchestrating off the bench. And that's exactly what you brought him for. The games have been awesome. I know it has been, who was it? The Nets? Nets, Blazers, Celtics, Blazers, Wizards. I know there are three bad teams, essentially. One mediocre and one. And one that is arguably the best team in the league, but, um, you know, they play very weirdly against us. But still, what matters is we won, we actually blew the two bad teams out this time around, and we are back over 500, 15 and 14. We have a lot of home games coming up after the Christmas game in Denver, which will be a great litmus test. We'll have to wait and see how we do there, of course, but that will be a really interesting game for where we truly are. Really excited in that one. And then we have a bunch of home games, I'm pretty sure they are really tough, we have Miami, Orlando, we have some really solid teams, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that that is the case, but uh, I'm pretty sure there are like six home games after that, so uh, gotta, win, gotta win more, gotta win more, man, gotta win more, and we are climbing back up in the West, we already unfortunately brought ourselves down, so we have to, we have to keep winning more and more, of, of course we have to keep winning more and more, but we just have to stack up these wins right now. Uh, can't keep hovering over 500 so hopefully this this stretch uh, after the christmas game at home goes great and we are back man we are so back we are so goddamn back <laughs> but we'll have to wait and see for that as always once again merry christmas to everyone to those who don't celebrate hey just be you baby and as always be kind to yourself and to others love and be baby <laughs>